What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I've had some of you guys DM me so far asking me, Eddie, how are these uh, compressors? You know, honestly, do they work good? Are they pumping tires quick? Uh, you know, I don't know. Uh, we're going to pull the Jeep out. Let's test it on some tires. I'm going to start pumping some air and some things. A lot of you guys also asked what's the difference between like mine and Lewis's, his Viers and the Air Zenith. Well, what we're going to do, uh, Lewis is going to be here, not today, I believe tomorrow, but we're going to test, so we'll, we're both going to flip our switches on at the same time, see which one fills faster, then we're going to test some tires out, see which tires also fill quicker. Is it, you know, for the price of the Air Zenith and the price of the Viar, is it worth paying the extra for the Air Zenith? You know, is mine going to fill in a minute and Lou's going to fill in 10 minutes? You know, stuff like that we're going to compare for you guys, because a lot of you guys are interested in the compressors, which, I mean, hey, I agree. Uh, you know, if I was looking at purchasing one or two of these to put on the truck, I want to know which one's going to fill the best and what is the best is for your price range. You know, what can fit in your budget? Is the Air Zenith too much? Viar too much? You know, the other brand uh, that we're going to try to get is Extreme Air. Uh, as you guys know, I believe that is the one that uh, D-Max Rhino has on his trucks. I, I, I don't know much about them. I haven't done any research on, their, uh, on them, but we are going to check them out and see the you know, quality of them and see their CFM rating and see what they put out compared to the Viar and the uh, Air Zenith. But now let's go pull the Jeep out and go test this air compressor on those tires. Then I'm going to dump the air in the Ram and see, you know, what this thing can do. Because if I ever do pull somebody out, which I'm very, very sure I will be pulling people out with this Ram, I'm going to drop the air pressure probably 15, 20 pounds. I don't like to go too low. I worry about, you know, uh, the tire because the truck is so heavy. Uh, I don't want any issues with tires coming off, uh, the bead or the rim. It's probably never going to happen. But I don't know, on uh, the Duramax, when I was pulling people, I usually ran anywhere between 15 to 20. It seemed to do good. So I'm gonna dump these to 20 pounds, and I wanna see uh, what this thing, again, I only put though, I think I got 45 pounds um, in these tires currently right now. Reason being, well, because that's what Toyo uh, recommends. If you go to Toyo's chart, put your uh, the weight of the truck, uh, divide the numbers, not the weight of your truck, the front, it'll say uh, front, weight and rear i believe the weight where is it right right here so you take these two numbers obviously six thousand so divide that uh by two because that's six thousand for the front so three thousand per and then you got where's the rear right there the rear is seven thousand divide that also by two then you go on toyo's chart and then it will tell you the proper tire pressure to run in these i believe it was 45 50 in the rear 45 in the front on this truck so it's not like the truck is going to go from 80 to 20, you know, so uh, I'll probably dump these to like 10 pounds and then see uh, how fast it can fill one of these tires up if you're going to be sitting there all day because that's what sucks. A lot of people, they don't want to air down because they don't want to deal with, oh, I got to sit and hold and pump it up forever. Now the wife, every time she goes or comes out to the desert, she airs down because she likes to go to the hill, to the drag. So this thing is always, you know, airing down, airing up, airing down, airing up. I'll tell you how much we have in it. I usually put about 15 pounds in here uh, for her when we uh, get out there. Okay, we got the Jeep out. We got our handy dandy uh, uh, extractor over here. I would recommend you guys get one of these. Number one, it makes it a lot easier. But number two, so you don't over tighten it. So this is the torque. So for example, uh, when you get in here, see, and you want to tighten it, there, it torques it. So you know that you're not over tightening it or under tightening it where it's gonna come flying out on you. Eh, these are cheap, you can just get them on Amazon. They're not that expensive. So, uh, this has got nothing in here. Yeah, we got nothing, it's empty right now because there was a little leak on this air chuck, so I replaced it with a bad chuck. So let's kick on the compressor and see uh, what this thing could do. We'll be clicking here number one, right there. Bam. And noise-wise, guys, um, you know, I, I don't, they don't seem too loud, but I don't know. That, that's why I want to compare mine to Lewis's. And what we will do is we're going to hook up a decibel meter, and we'll stand, you know, center of these things and hold the decibel meter and see mine compared to his. And then we'll go under the truck to see how much uh, louder they are. But, I mean, they're not too loud, nor am I looking for quiet compressors. I'm looking for a compressor that can perform. So... You know, if they're a little loud, it doesn't bother me. And if you guys want to see uh, how fast it's pumping, I will show you right here. So it, it goes up pretty quick. I will say it is a, it's a lot faster than having one uh, 
by air compressor, that's for sure. All right, guys, so let's see. We haven't pulled anything out. Let's see how much uh, air we got in this bad boy right here. Oh. Okay, so we're at 32 pounds right now. So let's take this down to 10 and fill it up and see what happens. That's where this tool uh, comes into play. It comes nice and handy. Just make sure, guys, when this thing uh, unscrewing it, it's going to come flying out, so don't forget to catch it. So we're just going to let it go low pretty much until, you know, there's hardly anything in there. All right, guys. So we got her at 4.4 pounds. She's low. So now let's uh, take her back up to 32, see how long it takes, and when this bad boy is going to kick on. Oh, whoa, whoa. All right. And then we'll see when it does kick on if I can still uh, continue to pump. But you can see here, uh, she hasn't kicked on. Oh, there it is. Boom. Kicked on, so we're still holding it here. We're not going to let it go. We're going to see uh, if it can keep up or not. What are we at so far? It's at 11. So we're going to hold it and see. Waiting, waiting, and waiting. Another thing I have noticed, guys, is this thing. Oh, hey! That's a, that's a really nice horn you got there. It's pretty weak. Yeah. We got Genesis over here. So another thing I noticed, guys, sorry, but... I noticed it didn't drop uh, usually below the 100 pounds. It stayed with the compressor on. This thing's already done. Uh, I set my timer. This fills in 38 seconds at 32 pounds. So uh, I'm pretty impressed. I like these. Let me give it a little more here. There we go. So uh, it did not really drop under that 100 pound uh, mark with these compressors that are uh, that were kicking on over here, which is nice because on the buyer, the problem that I was having is when the compressor would be on, and you would uh, hold it, it would get down to like the 50s and 60s, and it would just take a long time to pump back up because they didn't have the volume, number one, to fill this tank, fill the uh, your air tank back up, but number two, it just took forever. And that's why I highly recommend you guys, if you're looking just for the horn and not using anything for onboard air, uh, that, that's fine. But if you want some onboard air, I would highly, highly suggest you guys do dual compressors you're going to enjoy it much better than if you guys had one compressor because it's going to take forever to fill up. That's why Martin right now is really, really unhappy because he's got one compressor and it's not doing good for him. He, like you said, it did the job, but he hates it because it took forever. I filled this one tire up in less than a minute. I mean, yeah, is it a huge tire? No, but you know, that means you can go from, you know, zero to the 80. If it takes you a minute and a half or two minutes, you're done in, you know, under 10 minutes. Whether than sometimes like, we aired up this guy's truck when we went out to Glamis because we aired down and it took forever with my single vi air. It took like five minutes per tire. It was a nightmare. And you guys remember this guy that was a YouTuber for about a month and stopped I've posting. posting. I've been posting. I it's saw you post good. one video it's been like, like a month ago. Listen, look, you go to my drafts, I have a video ready. Look at that. It's ready, guys. Oh, okay. Oh, 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 a little sneak peek? Nope, no. Well, oh, damn, he shut us. He shut, <laughs> he shut us down. Everybody wants to know, though, when are you going to do something to this thing? Because everybody's saying, hey. Okay, so it's almost time for tires, right? Uh, I, I mean, listen, I, I, don't, I go off of, you know, how long I've had the vehicle. No, okay, so. so here's an issue. Uh -oh. I have clients that live in nice small parking garages and, like, nice apartments down by the beach and stuff. Okay. And you all know what happened to my sunroof, right? Oh, yeah. Is that, did you get that fixed or no? No. <laughs> it's okay. It's on top. Uh, Nobody can see it. One of my other clients, I, that client got booted. He has to come to the shop now. Nice. And my other client, my trailer hits every time I leave the garage. Nice. So if I lift my truck a little bit, my truck will hit. I well, I'll just do the little, um, like, I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Uh, guys, comment down below. What, what are the, what are the, like, I, I don't yeah, know. Any, I think they have little lifts, like a two and a half inch on some, like, 35s. And then, oh, if you, know, you guys are wondering, truck, the yeah, the Raptor. If you guys are wondering, yeah, his sunroof is shattered because he was going in a parking structure. Yeah, stuff up there. And, uh, it's dirty. and, uh, look at that, guys. Shattered his, not, I mean, well, not, uh, no water not, goes through it, which is yeah, why no I don't water to goes through, it. but it's a nice panor panoramic and they shatter. They want 2500 bucks. Yeah, they want $2,500 to fix this. Oh, and you hit here, too, I, I see. I can, I can wipe that off, though. Yeah, I but haven't done that yet. dude, where do you go that's that small? Like, if you put fresh tires going, on this thing, you're gonna hit. How about I was going to detail an Escalade? Explain that. What? I was going I to detail an Escalade, and my truck hit. I don't know, dude. 
And this guy runs with his trailer every day with no airbags, so you know these leaf springs are worn to shit. They're probably they don't even work anymore. I mean, look, they're always like maxed out. This poor thing towing this big beast right here. <laughs> this is Ding Ding 1.0 right here. Damn. Damn. So I will say, guys, this thing is ten times better than the single compressor, and it's still. Uh, yeah, it's already, it's already done. All the horns, dual compressors. Was that two and a half gallon? Two and a half, it's five gallon there. Five, yeah, it is. Two and a half gallons, t tiny. Can I hear it? Huh? Can I hear it? The horns, yeah. The horn? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, stick your head under there. You can hear it. Here, guys, he wants to hear the horn. <laughs> we'll hit the, we're gonna hit the horn. Hold on, we gotta turn auxiliary two on. All right, auxiliary two. Where are you at? Come closer. <laughs> It looks like he uh, something like twitch. <laughs> you a little scared there or what? Loud. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean that's bad? That I was, was just. I was expecting it. I still jumped. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a little burp. No, that's louder than loud. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's speechless, guys. He doesn't know what to say. <laughs> that, 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 that's all, folks. You know what I'm saying? Like I've heard Lewis's. I've heard Martin's. Yeah, well, you know, uh, it kind of helps that it's in the garage, makes it a little louder too. But, but you're not really in the garage. Though. I know. well, yeah, I mean, it, it, Lewis's it, was in DMX's shop, and I heard it. Oh, he did. Yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't. I jumped right now. I don't even know what Lewis. Uh, I'm not sure what kit he got. I know Martin. I think he did like a single compressor with four horns. I think Lewis did six. six I'm not. Horn? This is a six horn, yeah, but I'm not sure if Lewis did. Four or six. I remember he kept changing, so he did like a single compressor, and then yeah, sure. I think he added, yeah, and it was broken. So I don't know. I'll update you guys on Lewis's, and uh, this you know, good. <laughs> huh? This it works. Good. It's good. All right, it's good. It's it's Genesis detailing approved. So guys, uh, there we have it. Pump this thing up, great. My next experiment, what I want to see, because the new Ding Ding is on the way. It's going to be here shortly. So I use this thing right here to jack up the ding ding because I don't want to carry around a big you know jack over there I prefer this 20 ton bottle jack number one because you just plug it into the airline and bam it pumps right up with my single compressor it was a nightmare uh, with the Duramax because this thing uses a lot of air and it would not pump it it would but it took forever so when the new ding ding comes I'm gonna hook this thing up to it and I'm gonna pull, lift it up and see how long it takes to actually lift it because when I hooked uh, this thing to when I hook up the big boy to it and I hooked up the ding ding 1.0 when it was over there when we got new tires This thing was I mean beautiful. It just boom 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 lifted it right up right away So we're gonna see uh, what these old girls can do right here But that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and don't forget to click subscribe. Peace You guys love me, right? Like, do a vote or something. Why are you holding the camera down here? Where do I hold it? Right here? Up here, like, oh, Mr. Like, I asked yeah, you me. hold it. What's going on, guys? Nick, I, not all of us are Genesis detailing, bro. I get it, but it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm starting off, you know? Jim Jimbo's here. world. Jimbo's world. I like that, dude. And if any of you guys, like, know Philip Rivers, just let him know, like, I'm his biggest fan. I'd love to meet the guy. And just, he's the best. And he's just the best. So, yeah, if anyone knows Philip, just let him know. Because I know the dude loves trucks and stuff. Why are you wasting my footage? They love me. The camera loves me wasting your footage. Look at me. What's up? Jimmy's like, I'm going to take over. Where should we go now, guys? What do you guys want to do? We'll do something different other than Dory's lane. Nick, you've already had a drumstick, bro. Crustable time. You're, look at the time, bro. It's only 9.30. Come on. All right, guys. I'm going to have to let you guys go. But, yeah. Peace out. Yeah.